We start with hope, what's expected to be a long-term solution to our water crisis. And that hope starts with wastewater from our sinks, showers, and yep, our toilets being recycled into pure drinking water. The state's on a roughly four year path to making that water available at our taps, but small brewers like Desert Monks Brewing Company and Gilbert are already using that treated wastewater in their beers. I wanted to learn more, so I met up at the brewery with John Chris Decker. He's one of the owners. He's an Intel employee and serves in the Army Reserves as a technology advisor. Also joining us was Joanna Allhands, an Arizona Republic columnist who collaborated with Desert Monks on creating the beer called Immaculate Fermentation to promote the idea of using recycled water. Here's an edited version of our conversation. The city of Scottsdale put out a, a like an all, all hands message like, hey, we're looking for breweries that want to use this water. And that kind of picked our attention because we're experimental. We like to be creative and do new things. And we thought that would be a good opportunity to, to experiment with that water. And that was in 2019. Uh, and then when COVID ended, uh, we did it again. Uh, and at that, that point, that was two beers that we'd made with it. We thought that both of them turned out really well. And so we're like, wouldn't it be great if we could brew some of our beers uh, on a regular basis with this water? So your background tells me you wouldn't be like most people who when they hear, when they hear wastewater, they might say, wait, you're gonna use poop water in my beer? I've been to Afghanistan, so I've had a lot of interesting and unique foods and beverages. Uh, so no, that wasn't scary, but I mean, everyone has an ick factor. Like you get me around like a hospital and I just start to heart palpitations and faint. So I think every, everyone has that that thing that affects them, but this water in particular doesn't, no, none of us. Joanna, speak to why wastewater, now recycled wastewater, is, is important, and we're gonna be hearing a lot more about it. All water is recycled. You know, it goes through the water cycle. Every bit of water that we have on Earth has been recycled at some point. So that part really doesn't bother me at all. But the reason that it's important is because, as we all know, you know, the Colorado River, we're not getting as much water out of it. Groundwater is dwindling. You know, we're going to need some additional sources of water. And the beautiful part about recycled water is one, it's cleaner than the tap water we drink now. And two, it's a, it's a reusable, renewable resource. It's something that you can capture over and recycle over and over again. And what, where is the state at right now when it comes to actually putting this into wider use? We're getting there. <laughs> We're still probably a couple of years away. Um, this recycled water is not appearing in anyone's taps yet. But both the city of Phoenix and the city of Scottsdale have said that they are interested in doing this. They're moving forward with plans to create plants that would be able to put this water directly into our, our drinking water supply. So uh, there is you know, uh, regulation that is being made right now that the state really sort of has this interim process, but they don't have like set regulations for if you wanna do this, this is, these are the steps you need to follow and here's what we're gonna test for and here's all the stuff that you're gonna need to send us and all that kind of stuff. So that process is happening right now. And once that's in place, then a lot more uh, other water providers could do this too. So why are breweries kind of the guinea pigs here? I think we're the guinea pigs because it's a, a product that people want to drink and you kind of, you're a step now away from the water. So effectively we've retreated the water again, going through the brewing process. So the water has been boiled, it's been, uh, we've added you know, the hops, our grains, all those items to it. So it's kind of been reprocessed again. So it's like one step removed, I think. Uh, and it gets people kind of interested and motivated to try it. It's not, I'm drinking water. It's okay, I'm gonna have a beer with this as well too. So even if I don't like it, there's probably still a good outcome at the end of that. The water is treated already, so when it comes to actually using it, is it just like using any other water? It is, uh, well, except for the fact that like if we use tap water coming in, we actually have to treat that water. So we've actually removed a process step, uh, the energy and the, the minerals that we normally have to go through. Your beer is heavily influenced by the water that you get, so the minerals that are in that uh, can heavily influence the final product, the final taste that you get out of that and the mouthfeel you get of it. Uh, so the fact that we're getting this ultra clean water really works well, especially for like lagers and lighter beers, uh, as opposed to um, using tap water. Like regular tap water, it needs to be treated. If you don't do that, uh, the product that you get at the end is definitely not as good of a beer. 
So this actually, for us, cuts out a process step in removing the treatment. So what we get is crystal clear, perfect water to start off with. So let's underline that point. The treated water is actually cleaner than what I'm drinking at my tap right now? Absolutely, yeah. And the thing is, the processes that are used to get this water to drinking water quality, I mean, they can remove forever chemicals that aren't necessarily, you know, things that are removed from tap water these days. Uh, you know, of course, all of the other stuff that you don't want to drink, but, um, you know, it's way cleaner than what we would normally drink out of the tap. Eventually, you'll be using this in all your beer. Eventually, once it gets into the municipal water system, yeah, we'll be using it for all our beers. Right now, we have a strategic advantage in being small. Uh, so right now, uh, we only brew five or ten barrels at a time, which is, uh, you know, 200 to 400 gallons of beer at a time. Uh, we're definitely in the, the smaller breweries in the state, so it's to our advantage. We can go pick up the water now and use it, whereas a brewery that's going to be doing like a 50 or 100 barrel batch, something that's going out for distribution, they just don't have the capacity to actually bring this water in. So right now, it's our advantage to be super small and to use this water. Does it become a competitive advantage? eventually to say that we're using this water, here's why and here's what we can do with it? I think maybe there might be initially, but at the end of the day, it's people are gonna judge us by the quality of the, the beer that comes out uh, and not what the ingredients are that go into it. So I think it might be uh, a wow factor or like an interest factor for some people initially, but they're only gonna come back if the beer is good. So it's really the, the output. So it's not a, a unique advantage in the long run unless the beer quality that comes out of it is exceptional. Does the label say where the water's from? Yeah, for the three beers that we brew with us, all the labels have that. And what, what, is it, what do they say? Uh, it just effectively refers to this water is coming from a renewable source, it's direct potable reuse, and it's something that uh, will be obviously part of our future here in Arizona. Is sustainable water really what to call it? No, it's, I mean, now the, the so it was called direct potable reuse, or DPR, but now the state is really kind of getting away from that and calling it advanced water purification, so AWP, really to make people understand that like, no, it really is, we're trying to make this pure water, it's, it's cleaner water, it's, it's not something that's just, you know, we're taking poo water and sending it to you. They're aware of the marketing challenges. Absolutely. Yeah. Everybody knows that there's a Nick factor and that we're going to have to overcome that. Um, and I think when you tell people that this water is actually cleaner, like I've seen how it's broken down, I've seen the sheets of, of how this stuff comes out. When people realize that, and I think the big thing is going to be taste. Once you taste it and you realize, oh, this tastes like bottled water or something of that nature, I think that's going to be the thing that wins a lot of people over. And I took the taste test. I did quaff a Desert Monk's beer made with purified water, a pale ale called Immaculate Fermentation. My verdict, a very clean finish.